Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a short tutorial on how to design a website using Weebly. Uh, but first I should mention there's a link to a free trial of Weebly in the description below. So if you scroll down to the description of the video, you'll find a link. If you click that, you can try Weebly completely for free, a free trial. Um, so if you want to try that, you can go that. Uh, but moving on with the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is either create an account or if you already have one, just go to your dashboard, which is what should automatically open when you go to Weebly. It's more or less the same process, um, whatever you're doing. So first thing we're going to do once we're in the dashboard is go to my site and click add site. And now we have the option to choose if we just want a normal website or a website um, with an online store. I'm just going to pick a regular website for today. So you can see we have all these template options. Um, you can also go through the categories that are available. I'm just going to pick the first one here for today, just to keep things simple. And once you've clicked it, you can go through a theme preview. You know, you could just preview everything, see if you like it. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to start editing. So what you'll see um, first coming up is the ability to select your domain name. Now you can either put in a domain you've already bought beforehand, or you can create one using Weebly. So I'm just going to call my domain yoga by Jade. We click search. So now we have these options. We can either have a regular domain that we will need a one year plan for, or we can have something for free, um, but it'll have Weebly on the end. I'm pretty happy with just picking the free one for now. So there we go, our domain is set up. And we can do that later. Just click that. So now we'll be able to actually start editing our website. We can do that with the tools on the left here. Um, so first of all, let's just go with title. So it very easily just drags and drops onto the page. And then to edit any element of your website, you can just click on it. And it works, like I said, pretty self-explanatory, um, pretty much like you would edit something in Word. Um, so I'm just going to type um, weekly yoga classes. If we just click out of that. So if we hover over this, we can drag this anywhere on the page. I'm just going to leave it here for now. We can also click this and that'll delete the element if we don't want it there anymore. Uh, we have all these other elements as well. So we could also add a map if we wanted to. I'll add it down the here. So if we wanted to show where the yoga classes um, take place, we have this nice map down here. Um, something else we could add is a button, a very useful feature. So the way we can edit this button is just by clicking on it. That'll bring this menu up here. So we can change the text here. I'm going to click and type in book classes here. And if you go back to the menu, you can also see the ability to link to a website. So if you have a separate website where you could book classes, you could link to that. You could also link to a page of the website you're already building, or you could just link to a phone number or email uh, for people to do their bookings. And all these features here are pretty self-explanatory. You can learn a lot about them by just giving them a try. Um, now I'm going to go to the top features we have here. So we're currently in build mode, which has all these great features. Then we can go to pages. So this will show us all the pages that we currently have for our website. We can go onto a page just by clicking it and we can change the name right here. So instead of um, having a shop section, we're going to call this class prices because we're not really selling a product here. We're um, selling classes. Um, we, you can also see we have these features here. Um, you can change the heading 
uh, the headers. You can also change the visibility settings. And then a very useful feature here, the SEO settings. Um, there's loads of things you can do here relating to SEO. So if you're taking um, that very seriously, um, you have a lot you can do there. Next, we're going to go to theme. Um, so theme you might mainly use just to change um, how the text looks. Um, so if we go to fonts, we can go over, we can go on site title, for example, and quickly change the fonts for all the site titles. As you can see, it's done there. We could also change the paragraph text. Um, instead of changing the font, let's just maybe make it a bit bigger to make it a bit more obvious. We could also change the color to, I don't know, a very obvious red if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, there's loads of things you could do there. We also have the apps feature, and this is very exciting. So Weebly is a very simple website builder. It has enough to kind of get you going, but if you want to do a specific thing on your website that it doesn't have available, you can probably find it as an add-on in the app section. So there's loads to choose from here. So say you wanted to add something to do with social media. We have all these apps here. Um, you could add an Instagram feed. That would be really great for a yoga business. And as you can see, we have free options. We have premium options. We also have a mix of both, which just means some features of this app will be free. Some of them you'll need premium to use. So it's lots to choose from here. And we also have settings. So we have our general settings here. And then again, the very useful SEO settings. And then you can also see the apps that you currently have. And then also there's the very helpful help section. If you need anything you can't find a tutorial on, you can probably find some support for it there. So once you're happy with your website, once you want to publish, you can just do that by going to the top right here. And that'll just publish the site for us. And there we go, it's published. So there's our website. If we want to go back to the main page. There we go. So that's our tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to give the video a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Also, don't forget, there is the link to the free trial of Weebly down below in the description. And you can just click that and try it out if you want. The best way to learn about Weebly is just to give it a go for yourself. Uh, but yeah, um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.